Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video is exactly what it sounds like. I'm talking about the scamming block. No, I'm just joking. I mean, I kind of am talking about them, but I want to give you all some tea, some insight and my personal opinion from someone that does monetize both their YouTube and their Instagram accounts. I kind of want to give you all some tea a little wine for the good times. <laughs> What am I talking about? But we're gonna just talk, I'm gonna sip, and we're gonna talk. This is what we're gonna do. It's a real chill, real vibey video. We have my old background back. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I will be using the yellow and my natural like lifestyle type of setting. Um, I'm gonna just on an alternate and whatever I feel like doing, I'll do on those days. I was getting tired of the yellow, so we're back <laughs> to what feels like home to me. Anyways, I don't care about that. Actually, comment down below and let me know um, if you prefer the yellow or this. I'm really just curious about it before you ask. My hair is hair paint wax. I just put some highlights. I am ashy. I just put some highlights just because of the, with the gold hair paint wax. I'll be doing a video on it. Don't you worry. Not the time for that right now. Basically, I saw this video well over a year ago it was basically this girl talking about natural hair bloggers and youtubers being scammers and i watched the video and i was like okay so it's not going to be a reaction to that video you know i keep it real on here but i also see things from all sides so Let's just hop right in. A little bit of a background story, background story, a little bit of background. I do monetize both my Instagram and my YouTube, meaning that I do get paid, you know, to to promote certain brands. And when I do promote brands, I always disclose whether or not the post is paid or not. So I want to kind of get into that to open this dialogue up. The idea of monetizing your social media accounts, if you are a blogger or someone that reviews products or someone that just posts products or whatever the case is, and what, what that means to monetize it. So to simplify everything, it means that you just get paid by the brands or by whomever to promote or to post or to do whatever they really like are looking for combined with what you already do and just making a partnership happen. So for me, I started off my channel doing natural hair reviews, product reviews. So naturally, as the content went up and my name got a little bit, you know, more out there, brands did find out about me when I would post on my Instagram unpaid on YouTube, unpaid, they would see me and they wanted me to actually get paid to do what I do, which has been an amazing journey. I've worked with a bunch of brands so far and we're just getting started. Um, I've also held my own events that have been sponsored by brands, like not financially, but just like product wise and helped me back, like back to me, helped me promote and basically put on an event, you know, with their name attached to it. Um, I've spoken on panels locally and out of state at natural hair events. So I kind of have a good grip on the community and what really goes on. I'm not the largest influencer out there, but I'm on my way. And I've also kind of got my foot really, really wet. My foot's pretty much in the pool now of what goes on and the idea of scamming and the idea of promo and lying to your you know your audience and stuff like that now you guys know that I pretty much keep it a hundred throughout all of my reviews I tell you guys what I do and don't like etc if I, I get curl box curl box videos are never sponsored those I pay for and I do the review and I give my opinion. Um, Natural Club or Main Choice or other brands might reach out to me and say, hey, um, we saw your content. I wanna send you some stuff, you know, to do a video with, and then we'll talk numbers, we'll talk details, and we'll go from there, okay? That's usually how it goes for me personally. Now, personally, I do not post or promote a brand that I don't like or a product that I don't like. If I tell y'all that I like it, I honestly 
truthfully like it. I know that every influencer is not like me and that's a whole different convo. We're going to get to that in a second. I know I have been pissed and I would be pissed if I go and buy something with my hard earned money and I hate it because the person was lying to me because they wanted to check. At the end of the day, all the brands I've ever worked with have seen me either post their products before on my pages or post other brands that are like them on my pages and they wanted to work with me. So I either agreed or disagreed. You'd be surprised. I've actually turned down more than a few brands um, for reviews because, or for posts because I don't like their products. Now, everybody is not like me. So let's get into that really, really, really quick. I can't speak for other bloggers. I do know that people will finesse, they'll pretend, they'll make their hair look better, they'll, you know, tweak it a little bit so that, that you can't tell that their hair looks a little bit dry, even though, I mean, y'all be knowing, you scroll through Instagram and you see someone and they're promoting a product and their hair looks bad, you're like, okay, I'm confused. Like, your hair looks bad. I don't understand. I don't want to be that girl. So I don't. That ain't gonna be me. Like if my hair looks bad, like it ain't gonna, just ain't gonna be me. It just it ain't gonna be me. But that's the climate where that we're in. People want to get their money, and they want to get their views, and they want the brands to want to work with them. So it is what it is. I don't have anybody that I personally know that has done this, or like I don't have any inside scoop <laughs> about it. But I feel like it's pretty obvious when I look at their content whether or not it actually works for the hair or does not work for their hair. Unfortunately, you guys may not have the same eye that I have to be able to see that it's like, no, they're like 100% <laughs> pretending, you know, for the camera. If you're following me, a real one, hopefully you don't follow each and every fake blogger out there because people really be out here capping like another big thing that people don't talk about is like actually disclosing when you you know are getting paid to promote so every single time i post something on my youtube or on instagram and i've been paid to post it i let y'all know in the form of hashtag ad or hashtag sponsorship or sponsored. I usually put sponsored, hashtag sponsored in my post when it's sponsored. Now, brands don't always ask you to do that. Some brands do, some brands don't. Alexia chooses to continuously always put the hashtag in there because I feel like it's important for me to not lose my transparency, to not lose my honesty, and to not lose who I am. I came on YouTube being a real ass, okay, and I'm gonna stay that way. So I make a point to be a hundred every time I post something. I think it's important for you guys as consumers and viewers and followers to really keep an eye on people that are pretending. Um, because it just says a lot about your bond with that person and how they view their viewers. Now, what I will say with that is that I understand why someone might feel a little bit wary to share they're being paid because they might feel like, oh, we won't trust them anymore, blah, 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 blah. But it's a price I'm willing to pay to know that I'm being a hunted and that y'all know I'm being a hunted. This blogging world can get really, really, really shaky and confusing and just all over the place. So I think it's important to kind of keep a semblance of openness with your audience if that's what you care about. See me, I've kind of like coined myself as real, right? Like I've coined myself as being honest about whether or not I like or dislike a product, a brand, etc. So I can't go ahead and get paid to promote stuff and not say it because it's like, okay, what happened? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Where did you go? Or, hello? All right, are you in there, Alexia? Are you still there? I'm still here. Don't you worry. So we talked about money, talked about getting paid to promote, talked about disclosing whether or not you've been paid to promote. So now I want to talk about choosing who you work with as a blogger. I choose whether or not I say yes or no to a proposal and I have turned down some because the brands aren't really what I like to really get into. They're not my favorite, so I don't work with them. I think it's important to 
understand that bloggers aren't just saying yes to everything. Now, I can't speak for everyone. I simply cannot be impossible. But I, I find it hard to believe that people are saying yes to every offer that they get bombarded with. Because once you have an audience and once you have people that are actually interested in your posts, people are going to somehow come out the woodworks and offer you something. So everyone isn't saying yes to everything. So don't feel like it's just all a big ruse, all a big hoax. I don't think it is. I think that people work way too hard behind the scenes to get their posts in order, get it very professional, get it looking real nice, get it really like on par with their brand, get their branding right, get their equipment right, all that stuff, get their logos together. People are working way too hard to be out here not liking what they're using. I think that it's hard to dislike everything. I don't like much, but I do like a lot of hair brands. Like, I've tried so many that I do like and dislike a bunch. But am I now dishonest because I happen to like a lot of brands? I've been rambling quite a bit. Hmm, it's a little strong. In that video that I mentioned earlier, the girl was talking about you don't need all those hair products. Bloggers are scamming you by trying to get you to buy all these hair products and blah, 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 blah. Now, again, I can't speak for the masses, right? Like, I can't. But for me, I tell y'all in almost every single video, you don't need this. You don't need this. Um, but if you want it, it's either good or it's bad because as a consumer we have 50 pairs of shoes we have 10 shirts 20 pants probably triple that number you know what i mean we have five body washes we have 17 you know i don't know deodorants i don't know what i'm just talking about point being we like to try new stuff so i feel like as a blogger i'm giving y'all a demo and a review sponsored or not on instagram it's all demos sponsored or not i'm giving y'all what y'all want to see you want to buy it but you don't know how it's going to work so i'm showing y'all how it's going to work point blank period obviously it may or may not do what did for you what it does for me clearly but you have an idea the texture the color the scent um the slip whatever what have you i'm giving y'all that so i'm saying this to say that it's a lot more than just like oh pushing 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 product because someone's getting paid to show you guys a new line from a brand that you know and love or that they know and love <clears throat> me does not mean that it's a hoax or it's a scam because to me a scam is i am being bamboozled hoodwinked whatever what have you me doing my hair with something okay and working my entire ass off to make it look good and make it pop and make y'all watch it and then getting a little bit of money or a lot of bit of money whatever whoever i am getting some money for that post is not a scam because if you go and buy it and you love it where did you get scammed if you don't buy it and you just know okay if i happen to be in target and i see that line i saw alexia use it it was cute. Let me try it out. No harm, no foul. I don't see ads or like promo posts or reviews, demonstrations as scams. Comment down below and let me know if you guys see it that way. I don't really understand that whole logic. I know that some influencers only become one big ad. I work my hardest to not be that person, but sometimes you getting emails offers from people that you really love and you do the ad because you love that brand for me for example i did an ad for honey's handmade and um camille rose and the main choice all within a month blessings on blessings on blessings first of all but second of all i'm not going to turn them down because it's too many ads I love all those brands. I promoted and posted those brands for at least two years before they even saw me. So why would I turn them down? Make it make sense. So that's what I'm trying to say to y'all, like it's not really a scam. Most of these people that I personally have met, like bloggers that I talk to, it's opportunities. 
because at the end of the day, they would do their hair with the same products anyways. So I'm gonna get an email from the main choice themselves offering me a check to post a video do I already do. Why wouldn't I take the check and give y'all quality content? Make it make sense. See, I shouldn't drink wine because I'm getting real hype. But I find that people talk from a place of ignorance, which is why I wanted to give y'all some real tea because there's tea to be sipped here. You're not being scammed, not by me at least, okay? Or by most people because like I said before, I just spit. Like I said before, I'm making content anyways. I do, I try to do a weekly makeup Instagram video because it just helps me get my content out. I put makeup on to record when I record it on camera and just put it on Instagram. Bro, easy way to add more content to my feed. Pro tip, not a pro, <laughs> but and it actually has helped me be seen by more beauty makeup brands. I haven't gotten any sponsorships from makeup brands yet, fingers crossed. Okay, say a prayer for me. But when I do, if I've been posting the same lip gloss from NYX or the same lip gloss from Essence Beauty or the same mascara for the past like two years, hello Essence Beauty, I'm here, come look at me and they offer me a check to promote their same mascara that I've been posting for two years, why wouldn't I take the check? You would. Another example. <laughs> if you've never tried a brand before and they offer you whatever, what have you, this is what I do. I try it out, see if I like it. I then say, okay, yes or no, I'll do the promo. What is the, there's no harm, no foul. I just don't understand the discrepancy here because people feel as if they're being scammed. Now let's get into the flip of the coin. So there are people that do post all kinds of BS, right? They do post things they don't care about. They do post brands, products, never even tried before. We've all seen the flat tummy tea of the world with the full bag of tea, day 21, flat tummy, the bag is brand new. We've all seen, we all know the rules, okay? We know that everybody isn't honest, clearly. But I think it's up to the viewers and the consumers to open up your eyes a little bit. I hope that this video has been a little bit helpful for y'all to know that you can discern who is being who, who is real, who is fake. It ain't that hard, but people are out here being fake. I don't want to say scam, because scammer is a strong word. Scammers to me, again, they robbing you, they're wronging you. I feel like if you promote a product that you don't really care for, which I would never do, don't quote me wrong, are you a scammer for that? I don't know. Comment down below. I really, I'm kind of like this on that, because I feel like someone else might like it. Again, I would never do it, because I know how y'all get with me. I would never do it, but I don't know if that person is a scammer per se. Dishonest, whack, sure, for sure. <laughs> would I mess with them? No. I can see right through them, like they're bathing in Windex. <laughs> see right like a in a Windex. <laughs> I'm an idiot, but are they a scammer? It's a very strong word. Um, and I love to use strong words, but scamming, it's like, that's like, oh, send me 150, I have the iPhone for you, and no iPhone bit, bye. Like, that's, that's what a scammer is to me, but I digress. We talked about paid promo, we talked about lying, we talked about ads, we talked about a bunch of random stuff. Is there anything else on my mind about this blogger scammer conversation. I don't think so. I want y'all to take away from this video that most of us will be posting anyways because we want to. I love posting. If I wasn't being offered deals, I would still be posting, okay? Point blank period. Because I have a full-time job, I think I look at blogging differently because I have a full-time job, right? So I have a degree, I went to school, and I work in that field. So to me, blogging is my side hustle. I think for a lot of people, they get into blogging, they get big, they get money, they get accolades, 
then they begin to take deals because they have bills to pay. The more money you make, the more money you spend foolishly. So I think that people kind of become entrepreneurs, they, they need a check, they have to pay their rent, they have nothing else to fall back on, they take random deals from brands they shouldn't take them from, right? I think I look at it as like, I actually have built something here, I love y'all so much, and no check could come between us, okay? That's like, it's just what it is. I think that it's easy to call someone a scammer and claim, oh, you don't need that, or oh, that's another pushing product. When you're watching TV and you see an ad for Garnier, is the model or is Garnier a scamming you or is it a freaking ad? When you're watching TV and a commercial comes on for toenail polish and you don't paint your toes, you just ignore it. If you don't do your natural hair, you don't watch natural hair vloggers. If you don't put on fancy clothes, you don't watch fashion bloggers. <laughs> but not for real, like people be getting real big in the chest about this whole situation and it baffles me. It baffles me. Anyways, I'm gonna put some resources down below for bloggers because I know that people ask me questions all the time and I be forgetful and whatever. So I'm gonna link some of my favorite resources for bloggers down below that I use for editing, that I use for thumbnails, that I use for info, for free products, um, for anything like that. I'm gonna link that stuff down below. If you guys have any more questions, comment them and I will answer them, I promise you, because I know that it's hard to get your feet wet and I'm still just dipping my toes in the water. But I do feel like I've got a little bit more experience now that I can discuss this topic and I was waiting to do so. So I hope that I gave this a little bit of spice to the conversation. I hope that y'all get where I'm coming from. That video that I'm talking about is quite old, but it went pretty viral in the natural hair realm. So I'm sure y'all saw it. And if you're here, you know I ain't no scammer. Look at me. One more thing, if I put a product in my hair looks bad, y'all would tell me it looks bad. Y'all would tell me, sis, you're looking crusty. People are out here capping for the internet. Yes, they are. But others are just taking their pictures, doing their hair, doing their makeup, and getting their coin. Everybody ain't a scammer. Everybody ain't trying to sell y'all broken iPhones, okay? I think I'm done now. I think I went on all on and on and on and on and on, on enough. Don't forget, this is way too strong for me. Hell no. Nah. Don't forget to comment down below your opinions, your thoughts, your concerns. If you don't agree with me, please let me know and tell me why. I would love to know. But me and y'all, y'all get me. Y'all get me and I appreciate that. I think the video is over. I think I'm done. I hope it wasn't all over the place too much. I know that it probably was a little bit, but I hope it wasn't too much. Also, let me know, are you a blogger? I'm just curious. Okay, bye. Thumbs the video up. Subscribe to the video. Leave a comment, even if you don't answer my questions. It helps me when y'all comment. So comment. Support your local black owned business. That's me. This is my business. Support it. Support me and my black owned business and get me to 100k in 2019. Lofty ass goal, but we out here. And we are hashtag consistent Lexi. Back at it again. Okay, I'm off this. It's really this wine and it's late and I'm doing three much. Good night. <laughs>